things from around the neighborhood to create the house here. It's not, it's not, so the slope roofs are here, the, rumber, the, the adobe and the rumbers earth is here, the earth is from the river right next door. The metal, rusted steel, if you walk around this neighborhood, you see the rusted steel everywhere, laying around. Uh, stone, grass, gravel. So the, the idea is all the materials come together that you see around the neighborhood. The only difference is that the aluminum, creating these canopies in aluminum, is almost like saying, okay, here is the element of contemporary architecture. Yeah, everything else is very common. Even the shapes, I mean, the shape of these buildings are very common around. So if you look at the meditation room at the end there uh, with a round earth, it's like an adobe with a parapet. So you look at the one next to it, which is the master bedroom, it's the roof and the stucco. It's almost like a, like a farm barn. Mm -hmm. and, and the living room right there is kind of the same thing. Then you have the decks. You see these decks are floating. So it's almost like they don't touch the ground. They float. They are, they are falling. They are temporary. They are not. They're not made out of stone. In other words, um, so they are, when you are on them, you feel the separation between you and the ground. So the ground is one element, and you are on top of this deck in a different way. So you you are really on top of a deck instead of. If it was a solid, then you are in the ground. So it's kind of, and then you look at the line, how it, it respects the tree. The tree is the client. The yeah. most important thing of this project is this tree. I mean, the beauty of this tree is immense. And if you look at the, everything is around the tree. It's a circle. Actually, everything, everything in this house is square, except with a few minor things that they are circle, but the overall organization is a circle. The garage through here, through there, through there, all is a circle around the tree. So, you know, the dirt came from the river, the rammed earth, you know, became from the earth of the river. The metal, it was found around the neighborhood. We put it together and make a roof out of it. And, and no color. As you notice, the colors are just all natural just to respect the tree. Can we go see inside? Yeah. Mass. I mean, you can see the thickness of the walls, right? So then that came from um, okay. Okay. the lot, from the place right here. Uh, what, what kind of house would you design to put in a, in a house like this when you have the river next to it? So it's almost like, it's almost like, like creating a river, the power of the river with material. So then you create this hallways, you create this earth path like this. Imagine the concrete is water moving between round, round earth walls, which is like the earth, the sand on the river, on the side of the river. So that, that massiveness came from here, from the lot. What the, my client and our client brought in is the minimum uh, elements. You can see very, very few elements around. The, the, the design had to be always cut down, cut down. Almost like designing for not designing. So you can see it even in this corner, you can see it here, you can see it here. It's very simple, very, everything is very simple. And it takes much more time to design a simple house than a complicated house. It looks simple, but it takes more work. So here's a tuber. It's taller than the tree, louder than the ocean. Right? And she is quiet, like a flower, and slow. So you have two different energies in this house, right? So now they need to coexist. A 
how do they become together, right? How do they live together in one house? So the house has to give both people what they need. So he's here, right? Tall ceilings, heavy walls. And you can hear my voice, the sound, right? So now as he moves to go to her place, things have to start changing. So that's him. Imagine the big door, heavy door, right? So as moves into the space, the space are becoming smaller. So now you can go to this area. Now he is moving through this narrow place, changing material, changing height, and now he's compressed. So from the bigger, becomes smaller, right? And then he, he tells that he's walking through a different place, which is a, a river, or a, and this is designed like a bridge. So you walk through this, you go, come down, you're coming down, you're looking at the trees, you're coming down, you're coming down, and coming to here to go to her space. And that's how you compress the the, the energy and the sun, and then you come through here to go to her place, and as you walk on it, also the, the stone makes the sun, and then you come through it. So it's a process from moving from one space, coming to another space, a different use, and this is designed like a church, like a chapel, like a, a Buddhist uh, chapel, or a, or a New Mexican uh, church in churches. And as you see, the light is all around and comes down in the wall. So it is washed with light. And the materials are very natural, very simple. And Mary did not want the round earth to be exposed in this room although we could do that, uh, because she wanted to have more cleaner, more uh, southwestern feeling into it. So the plaster is very important to her, the feeling of the plaster, the cleanness, the minimal. So that one foot concrete base there defines the space between kitchen, the, the, the pilot door that is transitioned to outside, mm -hmm. the fireplace that is transi transitioning into the living room, and then the living room that you cannot escape, you're already enclosed. Mm -hmm. So you have one space, second space, third space, fourth space. And in the fourth space is where you feel the kitchen that becomes, a, you feel enclosed although you're open. So you're here, you're open, but then it, it stops you at that concrete. That concrete is there to hold your energy back. Mm -hmm. We had a corner cabinet here. But I made a mistake. Yeah. I wanted to have it four foot six, and we made it five foot six. So I paid with a mistake big time because then my client didn't like it, it was taller. Mm -hmm. So they didn't like it at all. <laughs> if I had done it right from the first place, which was four foot six, which would be that right here, mm -hmm. he, he may have... Your fault. <laughs> it is my fault. 